I think today I want to focus on just doing it now. Do it now. Now. I'm a little, my skin got a tough and I'm better than dinner. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta do better. I gotta do better. Oh. Yeah, said I gotta do better. Yeah, that's the motto. I get to the curse, my foot in the pedal and never let up. I dropped the L, now it's Toro. Dubs come in first like it's walk em all, but tell them all. Yeah, can't come in last, no. Come in first, I ain't no slow po. Oh, it's Toro. I said, oh, it's Toro. I said, oh, it's Toro. I dropped the L and it's Dubs, I ain't no more What's up guys, it's Toa the Magi, and essentially, I'm gonna take you on a journey with me, and I'm gonna see if I can actually live the life that I want to like live. Like, you know, like, I do janitorial work. Um, this is not my car, I, this is my mother's car. But I used it to do work, and I'm working a lot in my life. So I want to be able to like use, utilize my time more efficiently and actually do shit. Cause like I get like this little bit of time to make music and do da 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 da. But I have all this time where I'm not home. And it's like, bro, like I could put cameras up. I could like do what I want to do. I have a lot of thoughts go through my mind a lot of the time. So it's cold inside, outside. So I'm going inside where it's slightly warmer. I had to ask myself this question like, what am I all about? I really care about having this vigor for life and just everything that I actually like want to do with it with purpose. Like I look at, I grew up on a lot of anime and I still watch anime from time to time, but I've been like not watching as much media as I would want to because I want to either put in like, working, making music, doing other things. One of the things that was very constant in a lot of animes is characters with so much vigor for life. That they were like, yes! Um, I'm gonna, I'm Naruto, this is my ninja way, my ninja, like, you cannot tell me that this is not what I'm gonna do, and they're dying on the cross for what they believe in. And I wanna be like that, you know, I wanna have that. So, like, I've been asking myself, what is that? What do I actually feel, like, close to that? Like, oh, what can I grow? What if I was close to it or close, I could be closer to it, but I, I'm willing to put my life on the line to grow it. And that's creative freedom. My own creative freedom and everyone else's creative freedom. I want to like grow that, and expand that. I want to live for that. That's what I'm all about, dog. That's why like, I like to freestyle. I just go and just be, I'll be working, I'm freestyling, I'm dancing, I'm freaking singing. That's all me. So that's why like doing what I'm doing right now with this show is becoming when I'm this vlog is just me just like yo I have all the pieces put it together all right so yes it's future Caleb um basically this video is going to be all about just doing things right now while you have the time you have the energy because I'm a very energetic person when it comes to doing things that I want to do and that I love to do so I just want to do all that I'll say all that because it's just to put everything in because I like to I like to ramble and talk a lot I'm trying to compress the video but back to the video Doing it now. Do it now. Now. And that's what I wanted to be about. Just like, like I said, the creative freedom. Do it now. And do it now. And whatever song comes out, it's going to be about that. Um, I, might, I might put like poetry in here just to kind of like break it up. And I'm going to be cool. thing I was just talking about is like how we as a cre as creators like a, this is another thing that goes into like the doing shit now is like we just be as creators um hold on I'm gonna start I'm gonna start cleaning shit but like as creators as rappers as as artists we can't we have to realize that we are in a new age and some of us not are are not okay with that but the thing is time moves it don't matter bro you can't be an old man and be like nah bro i wish it was back in the day where all motherfuckers had to do was rap i wish it was back in the day where all motherfuckers had to do was play basketball and you made money and shit nah bro it don't work like that no more you gotta play the game because all this shit is an art all this shit is an art that's what i've learned because People who don't like technology and how there's like people make content 
and do YouTube stuff and do Instagram and TikTok stuff and dances and everything. But the thing is, dance is an art. We're creators. All art is is creating everything. You got to embrace that shit, dog. You got to embrace that and put it together and, and make something with it. Because if you don't do that, you're going to look like them people who, who oh, when technology started happening and you just can get passed by, you're going to be in your rocking chair and be looking, oh, these goddamn kids and their goddamn uh, tick, tick, ticky talk dances in there. And then these motherfuckers millionaires. Every goddamn day someone's turning into a millionaire, bro. Every fucking day, dog. It's, you know why? Because there's so much shit going on, dog. There's so much opportunity, bro. We have we live in a world of an opportunity, and because we live in a world of opportunity, you can't just go and, and have the same amount of success for taking advantage of one thing that you can do. You have to be able to do it all. You got to become the Renaissance man, G. You can't just make money from being a rapper. You got to be able to make your own videos. You got to be able to edit shit. You got to be able to rap. You got to be able to produce all that shit together. And then you can finally have uh, the, the magnum opus. What the fuck? Oh. And then you can finally have the magnum opus. The, the, the piece of work. And the, the, the good light that follows. And, you know, you just got to do it sometimes. You don't have, like, the whole entire thing together all the time. You just got to do it. That's what this is all about. Just doing it, bro. So another thing, um, um, I think what I'm going to do is just like kind of put this together to where like each clip kind of represents a different topic that I'm talking about. And I'm going to just put like a fucking, okay, this is the seven steps to uh, glory as an artist uh, to doing things now. Um, anyway, one of the things I realized is like motherfuckers, like especially people who, who want like who, who be on like a higher purpose. Like if you've got a higher purpose for your art. And you ex you can't expect people, even if you had the highest purpose, like, oh, I want people to meet, I want to solve world hunger. At the end of the day, you can't expect people to treat you like you got, like you doing the shit if you ain't done it yet. Or even if you working on it, bro, because you ain't this shit for them, you ain't this shit for no one else that they can feel. They can't feel what you're doing. We are human beings. We aren't God. We are God. But you know, like, we can't always just be in the state of bliss where like oh my god i feel everything oh what you said to me it hits me to my core you're gonna say yes i'm here to fucking uh pass everyone out of this dimension into a dimension where we're all rich and this is how i'm going to do it and be like yeah that's cool i don't have the i don't have the money i don't have the riches i don't have the job you didn't do shit for me yet at all and it's like a lot of times this is artists and this is something that I definitely fall into. I talk a lot, and this is why I'm, this I have a lot of energy today because I just went to this event and, it's, and it was awesome. DDA Tink, DDA Tink is an amazing artist, and she put on like a, a whole event for all her people, and she did something for us, dog. And like, you know, she has a good person, like personality and like goal. A goal is not going to get you everywhere, though, dog. Like, like it's like, what do you do? What did you do? What are you doing? And make that shit tangible for people. That's why I said do this shit now, dog. If you don't do it now, then you're never going to get there. And then when you at the fucking, you at the point where all, you, you fucking cross the finish line, you sit on the fucking throne, you can be like, yes, I did this thing. And then people can be like, oh my God, you actually did it. Oh, and then they'll actually be able to feel it because they can't, you have to let people know. We have to know that people can't feel what you're doing until you fucking did it. Because that shit is in the spiritual where they can't see it. They can't conceptualize that shit until you make it as your, that's your job. Now, one of the things, I have been, this is my first time doing this shit. I'm just literally like, you know, I understand about how to make video. And I know like, I don't want to waste your guys' fucking time and just be all over the fucking place. I know that you need to like see... Like a structure, or a, a, some remnants of a structure to a video that's going to allow you to be like, okay, I see beginning, middle, ending. Uh, he has a list, and this is what it's doing. So I'm just figuring this out on the go. There's going to be like numbers one, two, three, four, probably like seven. I don't know. And I'm just doing this on the go. So, like, now, this is the next part. It's going to be talking about doing things on the go and just figuring shit out. Like I said, doing it now. Part of doing things now. 
pardon all the noise in the background, but this is what happens when you do things right now, if you know what I'm saying. I'm at work right now, and I'm still making an entire YouTube video with different parts that is giving you guys good energy and good information. It could, and this is all impromptu. I learned how to freestyle by doing it now and not giving a fuck about what anyone says about what I say because I'm gonna say some things that I might not be comfortable with saying out loud. You have to get it comfortable with. You have to get comfortable when you're doing things now with what comes out because what happens is you're cutting the time between initial thought and action, and what that does is you start to see who you really are. And some of us don't know who we really are. We might have like a, a vague idea. Because, but the thing is, there's a lot of things that we do that we don't even think about that happen. And we might think that we know ourselves. But a lot of times, people see our actions. And people can be like, oh, this is who they actually are. You might not even know it. You talk to people, they're going to tell you something about yourself. You don't even fucking know. And you think you know yourself. And that's because of the, the, the real you is shown when you don't think about what you're doing. So if we're all great, we would be able to express our greatness if we didn't fuck around thinking about what we're going to do next. And we just did it. <laughs> it's, that, it's, that, it's that simple. So whenever we just, all right, let's just do it. Let's just do it. For example, right now, what I had to do, I did go back and listen to all the different, but like I said, this is all stems from me just doing shit. I got back and I listened to all the stuff that I had just said in them other uh, vi video uh, portions and I was like, okay, I have a semblance of a structure. I see what I can build from this. It, it kind of flexes your mind. So a lot of times what happens when you're freestyling just words and shit, if you're like rapping and stuff, you're going to say some random, and this is when I freestyle, I'll say some shit that doesn't make sense, but then I'll check back in later on and I'll be like, okay, so I said X, Y, and Z. I can tie X, Y, and Z all together when I say this so it all makes sense, if you get what I'm saying. It's like things might not make sense at the at at the point where you are right now. We just keep on going. You're gonna get a point to get a break and catch your bearings. And you're gonna be able to pull it all together and it'll make sense and shit. And then it's like, oh yeah, that's because you have faith in yourself. You have faith that this is the way that we're supposed to be. This is your life. This is like creating. This is how free form we're supposed to be. God probably was like when he was <laughs> if you read the fucking Bible, this man was just putting shit together like nah. I'm going to make a daytime. Uh, I'm going to put water on this bitch. Yeah, let's put, let's put some earth on here. He's like, you know what? Like, it'd be crazy if, like, we had people, like, we had animals and shit that's, like, eating. But, like, they probably need food, right? Let's give them some food. Yo, what if I just made something that was, like, almost like me? Because I could just play with these fucking uh, animals all day. What if I put a like, human being in this shit? And then he just kept on building until you got to where we are right now. It's fucking awesome. But that's the whole, that's the next part. We went through um, doing shit now, uh, deciding what your purpose is, um, how to put that purpose into art, an art piece. Um, what else? I don't know, but you'll see at the end of the video, you, if you're watching it. But yes, right now I was just talking about, um, you know, just be okay with, with the, the improv of life, you know, the, 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 the intangibles and just that happen. So basically, I just gave you all the pieces to how to do it, because if you know anything about like life and like doing things like on in, improv and just like on the go, and also if you achieve any type of success, you probably think, oh yeah, he probably gave you all the pieces. At this point, what you're doing is going to be okay. You're catching the flow at this point. You say, okay, I'm going to just go ahead and I know kind of the general idea. I know my purpose. I know... Um, where I'm going with it and I know that I have to do it instead of talking about it So let me just do it and I'll forget about it and I'll check back in later. That is the cycle. That's all it is But it's not all just doing random shit There is a portion that you will get to a point where you're like I can plan a little bit God put us on this earth to plan God whatever whatever God is put us on this this place to plan. We're not just supposed to just uh, boom 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 we we have we get ourselves ahead first by initially, all right, let me freestyle. Let me, let me just uh, try some shit out and just make it, make this happen. Okay, I know that I was making this now that I look back. But now after a little bit, we can do, okay, I know the flow. I can boom, boom, boom. I can plan out a big punchline. 
like I am a rapper. Boom. All right. So I'm just freestyling. Okay. I know I want to make some music. Boom. I know I, I know I want to. Uh, I know I want to clean. I know I want. I know I want to make some money. I know I want to get love here. I want to um, talk to people. But I'm like, okay. I got the flow of doing all these things, and then ugh, all this potential energy is going to then pop into. Boom! Now I turn into a fucking uh, event creator. I, I do events for all these people that I fucking love and everything. And it's like shit like that. It's like now at least you can you can scope things a little bit better now. It's like having a, a, a steady source of, of clay as as a sculptor. And now you can just be like boom, boom. Shit comes in. I get five pounds every single week. Five pounds every single month maybe. And then I can just save that up, or I can go ahead and. Uh, do something that's going to I can use that investment and turn it into something bigger than I initially was That's basically what I'm saying like you can now invest the energy that you now have control of because you've learned the flow of it It's just Mathematics that's what life is. It's money. It's budget. It's budget management. It is energy management This is the flow of life. This is what freestyling is. This is what success is This is what doing it now is all about Doing whatever you want, it comes down to mathematics. It comes down to money management. Because money is honestly, this could be a whole nother subject. But money is the lifeblood blood of your life, if I'm being honest. We live in a physical world where things have money in them. If you do not have a grasp on your money, even if you are a millionaire, that money will, you will not be able to expand past millionaire. You will probably drop below unless you just, whatever you're fucking doing at that point, you don't even know why you're doing it because you haven't done the, the internal work to understand why. You are here where you are. You don't understand the machinery, the programming of why you are who you are. So it's going to be quite hard for you to understand how to expand forward or move backwards. So you just, honestly, if you ain't moving forward, you're moving backwards. But you don't even know what what, what gear your fucking uh, vehicle, your spiritual vehicle is in. So you can't even move in the first place. Um, or you understand where you are, where your orientation is. Um, but yes, it's really just about, at that point, it's just, all right, how does one understand just love just back the back and forth of life that's what it's all about at the end of the day um i mean in this i probably i might do like a freestyle or something i don't know i know i have an instrumental that i made at home um i'll probably what i can probably do is when i'll get done with work and everything i'll go back home and i'll add that on to this but i really did the whole entire thing like i feel like i i feel like i i brought everything together and put it back together and now we're here to this point where you understand how to just do whatever you want now and what it is. Look into money management. Look into batching food so that you can know how to uh, play around with different food. Look into how to cook stuff for the specific way that you want to live your life. Working out all this shit plays into each other. Just know that things that you do all come together. The way that you do one thing is the way that you do the other thing. If you learn how to have your sleep schedule, if you learn how to have your work schedule, you learn how to cook food that works for you, you learn how to batch food for the rest of the week so that you can make something when you don't have a shop and get the right stuff, you can learn how to move your time and move through time and space. You then will be able to just, I want to do this, all right? I can still change my, I have my food schedule. I might need to change my time a little bit. I might need to change my energy and what I focus on, what I put into my mind for a little bit, but I can still do it. I just need to change what goes into these different inputs that I have, a set amount of inputs. And I might even have some inputs that I didn't even know I had, the individual pins in, in, in the radio station that I'm trying to uh, install into my vehicle now so that I can now tune into this station where I wasn't able to in the previous one because it was not on that frequency. The metaphors that I'm bringing is coming to me, but yes. That's what I'm saying. I just be so excited, bro. I love this shit so fucking much. But, but yeah. And then through your energy, through your essence, they get the message that you're talking about. And then if they want to come in closer, you got everything set up. You got your brand set up. You got you as a person. So if they see you on the street, you see you in a mall, in the store, or something, they can talk to you. And you can give them that, what, what God gave you. What God put you on this earth to per perpetuate in his, in his universe for the people around you who have woken up to that stuff. That's how I feel about that stuff, man. So, that's why now I, I just make, like, life shit. I just talk about life, and I just be like, yeah, that's how I feel. And I just focus on my skill. And if you fuck with my, my ability to just come across so comfortable, then you're going to 
eventually come close enough for you to see like where I got it from. I got it from, I got it from, really, I got it from where you came from, bro. Go back to there. You got it. <laughs> but that's it.